everyone should be taking probiotics, but predominantly the best way to do it is through natural fermentation of foods. I like to make sauerkraut, you know, fermented uh, cabbage, if you will. Um, and that's a great way to get probiotics. And, you know, there have been num numerous studies. Um, the most interesting one I read a few weeks ago was on children who grew up on farms and the incidence of, uh, of allergies and asthma and autoimmune conditions um, the diversity of their microbiome and what we find in kids that grow up in the country with their hands in the dirt, farming, etc., they have a more diverse probiotic concentration in their, in their microbiomes. And I think what's happened to most people is living urban, you know, we, we spray, we germ spray everything. So we have germophobia where everybody's washing their hands 25 times a day, using hand sanitizer, spraying Lysol everywhere. But as a general rule, you should have a strong and robust immune system and a diverse array of exposure to microorganisms. Anyway, I hope I answered your question. Um, so if you live in the city and you don't garden and you don't have um, and you don't have the proclivity to want to make sauerkraut or other fermented vegetables, then you're the type of person that should definitely be considering using a probiotic. Um, and as a, if you're celiac, Victoria, I would recommend just taking our biotic defense. It was actually designed with celiac disease in mind.